Hey Lamblasters! Have you ever spent a good amount of time on crafting the perfect cold email campaign and then you finally hit the send button and you can hardly sleep because you're so excited for the results? And then the next morning you open your reporting and nobody fucking opened your email. If this sounds familiar and you want to ramp up your cold email open rates, then continue watching. And that's not all. At the end of this video, I have a special surprise for you. I'll give you one hint. Today, I'll talk about the following subjects. What is cold email deliverability? What can impact it? And what you can do about bad open rates? Now, first step, what is cold email deliverability? To give you the definition, cold email deliverability is the ability of your emails to land in recipient's inbox rather than spam or categories. So it's kind of a big deal. And that is going to be the challenge. Basically, if you have a cold email open rate below 50%, then you might have a deliverability problem, which means that even if people that you're contacting might be interested in what you have to say, they won't even see your email because honestly, who regularly checks their spam folder? And if you do, you trust emails that get sent in there. So in a nutshell, better move quickly if you see that you have a deliverability problem because it can severely impact the success of your campaigns and your business. It's all about reputation. Just like people who gossip way too much end up having a bad reputation, email addresses that send low quality content too often to too many people will receive a bad reputation and will be considered as spam. Oh, she is as fake as press on nails. <laughs> hey, baby girl! Step two, what can impact cold email deliverability? Let's take a look at the factors that impact email reputation. First, you have volume and consistency. Remember that in cold emailing, quality is way more important than quantity. In addition to that, you need to be careful of the number of emails you send and at what frequency. And if you do want to increase the number of emails sent per week, do so progressively instead of increasing it all of a sudden because your email domain will be considered suspicious by email providers. Secondly, recipients marking your messages as spam is like the worst case scenario. Thirdly, bounce rate. If you send your campaigns to non-existent or outdated email addresses, your email won't be able to be delivered. And that is called a bounce and is also really bad for your domain reputation. Then there's also email format. So newsletters, for example, use complex HTML scripts to be sent out, which decreases their deliverability. And last, but definitely not least, the blacklist. You do not want to end up on there, trust me. It's basically when internet service providers like Gmail, Outlook, and so on, consider that your domain is sending spams. So they blacklist you and your chances of landing in people's inboxes close to zero. Okay, okay, don't get discouraged. But of course, I won't leave you hanging like this. Duh. There's tools that let you check easily if your email domain has been blacklisted. Just go ahead and check it out on MX Toolbox. Let me show you. Now what you want to do is to go on MX Toolbox. I included the link in the description. Then you click on blacklists right here. You type lamblist.com and in just a second, it'll show you whether your domain has been blacklisted. So basically, if you have the little green check mark everywhere, you're all good to go. And if you do end up on a blacklist, don't panic. Just contact the site that blacklisted you and solve the problem with communication from non-spammer to non-spammer. All right, let's rewind for a second. If your open rate is below 50% and or your bounce rate is above 5%, then you have a deliverability problem, my friend. Now, third step, what can you do about it? There's a few things you can do in order to boost your cold email deliverability. Let's go over them one by one. In order to make sure that your account is recognized as a real person's account, make sure that it's set up as such. This means that you want to add basic personal information like your name and a profile picture. Sounds super basic, but trust me, it goes a long way. You can also authenticate your domain by performing a so-called ID check. It's like going to a bar and showing your ID when you order a spritz to make sure you're allowed to buy it. Mmm, spritz. Spritz. Gin. What was I saying? All right. So basically your ID for deliverability makes sure you're allowed to send emails. In order to give an ID to your email domain, you need to set up three key elements, SPF, DKIM, and MX record. If you set these parameters up in your DNS, you'll notice an instant boost in deliverability. Okay, bye now. Good luck. See you never again. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, good one. I made a dedicated video to show you how it's done step-by-step 
It's the next video in this playlist and the link to it is on the top right. I know that this all sounds incredibly boring and you might be wondering if it's actually worth it, but trust me, it'll make the difference. And it's super easy. <laughs> Why is this so hard? And it's super easy to set up, I promise. Pinky promise. <sighs> oh yes, my pinky promises. <sighs> Now thirdly, you also want to set up a custom tracking domain to send out your cold emails. Wait, what the heck does that mean? Basically, email automation tools are going to set up tracking pixels and change the link URLs in their systems in order to make it possible for you to track the performance of your email campaigns. So it lets you understand the open rates, click rates, etc. Email providers really hate that kind of stuff. So they'll mark your emails as promotional emails and guess what? that doesn't make you land in your prospects inboxes. Setting up a custom tracking domain lets you control your deliverability and domain reputation. So it's really worth it. Check out our video and how to set it up on Lumlist. As I mentioned in the intro, a higher bounce rate than 5% is bad for your email reputation. See here, the number of emails going to spam after having had a high bounce rate is huge. So in order to avoid this, what you want to do is to verify your email list to ensure you're contacting only existing email addresses. I have created a dedicated video to this. The link is on the top right, so don't hesitate to check it out. Lastly, it's getting a bit cold outside. So one other thing that you want to do is to warm up your email. Yep, you heard me right. Remember how I was talking about volume and consistency like two minutes ago? It's essentially what it comes down to. If you all of a sudden increase the number of emails as well as the frequency at which they are sent, it'll be considered suspicious and your reputation is going to suffer from it. The same goes for newly created email accounts. This means that you'll have to steadily increase the number of emails sent per day and get them replied to. Sounds like a hell lot of work to do it manually, you might think. It could be, but luckily there are tools that do it for you automatically, such as Lemwarm. Don't hesitate to check out our video on that one as well. I suggest you go ahead, grab a cup of coffee and a PhD in IT because otherwise, I'm sorry, there is nothing I can do to help you to set all of this up. Sorry, dude. Kidding again. It's super easy, I promise. We created tutorials for all of the technical setups I talked about. Setting up SPF, DKIM, and MX record, setting up your custom tracking domain, and warming up your email. They are the next ones playing in this playlist, so just keep watching if you want to know how to easily set all of those up. Here at Lamlist, we also created an email deliverability checklist and an article on the audit process, so you can use it to make sure that you have done everything you need to pave the way to Lemtastic open rates. The link is in the description. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And no, I won't ask you to like and subscribe. I dare you to. If you don't like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel, you'll have to eat four Oreo cookies filled with mayonnaise and then send the video to charlotte at lambless.com. Our Lemartyr Erwan did it, so not liking and subscribing and not doing the dare is gonna be really bad for your karma. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to contact us right here in the comments or find us on LinkedIn. In the meantime, stay amazing and I'll see you in the next video.